Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Crap. Today I'm going to do a uh, server tour of the area and show you some of uh, the highlights that I like. This is actually spawn where you spawn in or supposed to spawn in. Sometimes you spawn in way up on top of this Ender Pearl Tower or Ender Pearl Matic. Um, there's a way to get down. Let's see. Here's like a community message board. The uh, welcome center and here there's all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, just different things for people, you know, when they first start. Um, some potions I made. Potions of strength and stuff. And they had potions in there to start with too. Let's go check out the... Uh, Iron Golem Farm. I kind of like the way it's built. They're talking about maybe putting an Iron Titan in. Grab me some Ender Pearls. Community Iron Farm. So there's a lot of iron there. Over here is the X spawner. <laughs> A little dock area. I, I like the way they did this place. It looks all nice and quaint. Of course, people have been planting poppies left and right, you know, so, so you got the golem farm there producing them. This is not pretty safe over here. I mean, it's pretty well safe, but you don't want to AFK over here. I thought it was safe. But, uh, so, ooh, like that's a good caught on camera. A good bunch of mob drops just falling. Um, like I said, I was AFKing over here trying to get some stuff and thought it was pretty safe. But evidently, if they mob falls down with fully, fully armor on or something, he will survive the uh, fall. And, uh, which he got me. Let's go up on top so you can check that out. And it's pretty cool. I mean, the platform itself is also an X. See? Okay, so the next thing. What is... Oh, the, there's a battleship over here. Which is pretty cool. This is the uh, community cane farm. I don't know if there's anything in here. Not nope. There's hardly anything in there. I don't think it's working right. Uh, this is the battleship bridge over here, the walkway. Look at that. That's a sight, man. Yep, that is a site. Okay. Next place I want to go to is a church. They actually sometimes hold actual church services in there. There's this guy on here. He's an actual preacher. His name is Tad. And he did an Easter service. He did an Easter service this year. I guess it was the second service they had. Um... Yeah, this is a nice church over here. I 
Holy water. Oh, okay. Ender chest. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's put some donations in for the poor. There. Power three. Protections. Power two. Fifteen. Okay. It's got some nice stuff in here. Yep, got some nice stuff in there. And at noon, I think it is, this plays, um, they actually have a working baptismal. You stand in here over the trap door, and he pushes a button, and you get dumped. Uh, the guy set this up where it plays a chime at noon once a day. And then it has uh, 12 dongs, like church bell ringing. And uh, one of the first things we had to do when we got on this server for our first assignment was to build a replica of our house slash apartment. And that was done in Hidden Valley, and which I'll go there now to show you. And then we got the mysterious... Um, Floating feathers. See? Floating feathers. This is a chicken cooker. Oh, here it is. See? We got plenty of chicken. One, two, three, four. It's not quite full yet, but. <sighs> this is uh, the nether hub. And this goes branches out in all different directions and to all different places. This is the way to hit Hidden Valley. Um, gotta be careful what I show because I don't know if the other dad crafters is, uh, want me to show their stuff off because a lot of them does YouTube channels and I don't want to do no spoilers for them but uh, this guy named Durandal which lives about 20 miles from me he's doing a replica of the uh, UC University of California San Diego uh, a couple of their buildings He's working on the library right now, the Geis the Geisel Library. Um, this right here is the uh, town hall from Back to the Future. And that uh, clock on there is is, uh, is at the same time it was in the movie. And that's actually four maps. Uh, I'll, take a, I'll take you over there and scaffold up so you can see. Uh, one of the guys on the server actually... Um, went out there and did that in a snow biome or something and uh... and then took him did a map of it, it's so awesome it's 256 by 256 blocks wide and this is my little abode over here to the right um... I got sort of like stucco sides put so I just put sandstone there and uh, I kind of like the way the nether brick look, you know, I got a gray roof, but I thought gray would look kind of stupid, so My little barbecue pit Water outdoor water spigot air conditioner This light right here is actually for my mailbox if I put an item in there the light comes on lets me know I got mail um, This is uh, my living room my diagonal fireplace like I got in my uh, house this is just like a utility room or something you know I got some rats and peaches cream and Jersey they kind of stay here I gotta remove these um, yep I gotta remove them I kinda took some liberties with the lighting and stuff this is my kitchen 
it's kind of small. Of course, everybody knows what the bathroom looks like. <laughs> yep, everybody knows what a bathroom looks like. I don't actually have a washer and dryer here, but this place was kind of uh, empty, needed something in there, so I put it there. Um, actually, I have a closet right here. Yeah, you know that you can just open the door up and put some books and stuff in there. It's can't walk into it or nothing. It's just got a few shelves. This is my bedroom. Oh, somebody, somebody's been working at my computer. No longer have Minecraft on there. Uh, I have to find out who's been uh, playing my computer there. See what, see what video or game they're playing. Well, um, this is my roommate's, excuse me, this is my roommate's room. Uh, I haven't really decorated this because I don't go into his room. And the person called Snowbird, uh, or also aka Grandma, she did that building across the street, and underneath of it, she has, um, uh, like a fishing spot. And I did a torch key here. Oh, that's my blue snowball, by the way. It, <laughs> it goes around, got a kind of light on it, like my snowball does. See, it opens this little secret door up here. This is the way I go to check my, you know, to get the mail out of the mailboxes. Did somebody move the dog? Yep, somebody come and got the dog. Let's see, no mail. You know, we can come down here. That button just closes the door behind me. Or, just the floor. And, you know, a little fishing spot here. You know, you can come down here and just relax and fish a little bit. Well, let me go show you that clock. And after the, we get done with the clock, um, thanks to a guy named the Tad, he kind of helped me uh, fix the wiring, the redstone on this, so that um, I can close it and open it from both different places. Oh, uh, do I gotta get? Some, let's see, do I have any blocks? Yeah, I got dirt. That's plenty of dirt. Okay, let's see if I can't find that uh, clock again. I've only been out there one time, and it's pretty awesome. Oh, she's got a lot nice swim, nice garden back here. Nice swimming pool. Look at that. That's awesome. Her dogs. That's one thing I have to find on here is some dogs. I gotta go way out to get some dogs. There's a spider around here. Okay. And that little ice structure over there is Superman's Fortress of Solitude. And this little water tower, this is a Hidden Valley water tower. The light on top actually blinks at night. Nice fire station, you know, in case places start to burn down. Oh, somebody's got a UFO over top of their house. Some we're being invaded. Yeah, we're being invaded. That's the first time I've seen that. Well, I better get out of here before I get abducted. Oh yeah, I got the um
go this way. Okay. This Christmas village. I haven't been there yet. It's, I think it's this way. Hidden Valley Witch Farm, Christmas Village, the end. Yeah, big clock. I gotta go this way for the big clock. I think this is it right here. Well, this is it. Man, the way this guy did this is awesome. He actually did it. See, this is what the uh, map looks like right here. This is the actual map. Look at that. How awesome that is. It even shows the topography of this area with the snow. This is like like I was saying. This is 256 blocks, by 256 blocks. Let me peel her up here so you can actually get a better look at it. Oh, great. Okay. Um, let me try turning my chunks up. Is that enough to load it? Sorry about the slow loading guys, I got a crappy computer. And it doesn't look like it's still enough to do it all. Oh no, it's still loading, let's see. Options, video settings.
Well, I don't know why it's not loading that, but as you can see, it's an awesome job. Well, anyway, um, I think that's all I wanted to show on the server tour. If you guys like this, please leave a like. If you don't, um, you can dislike it if you like to, but if you do, I appreciate it if you'd uh, write a comment, tell me why you disliked it. I uh, guess I'll see y'all next time on a Dadcraft server. This is R Tester saying goodbye for now.